Hello everyone, and welcome to the 13th episode of our Stalker Gamma Invictus run. We're currently in Rostock. Last episode, we started out in the Clear Sky Base in the Great Swamps, where Librarian gave us a mission to visit the mechanic in the Research Institute, which is the military base in Agroprom. Uh, he asked us to clear some loners and clear sky here at the factory, after which we had to return to... Uh, I heard he's called Mangun, but I probably will kill, keep calling him Mangun because it just feels more natural to me. Um, but yeah, it's the mechanic here in Rostock. Uh, we passed through garbage, we didn't do anything of note there. We did also collect the the laptop from Agroprom uh, for the anomaly mission. Luckily, it doesn't weigh anything, so we can just uh, carry it around. We will, at some point, do some artifact hunting, but not, uh, not today. Right, um, the mechanic asked us to clear some mutants in uh, the army warehouses, which we did. And uh, since we were already here, I decided to make a run through radar as well, uh, and maybe kill some monolith. We actually ended up uh, wiping out all of their base, uh, which was not an easy thing. I We suffered through a game crash, which luckily is uh, off, uh, off camera. But uh, we ended up being able to do it with no major issues. We also killed four Chimeras, one of them black. So that was uh, scary. We had uh, a few very close brush brushes with death last episode. So uh, we came back, we turned in the quest for Mangoon, and uh, he asked us to go back to the Rookie Village to meet with Sidorovich which I will do right now, but I believe I will uh, leave it uncommented and uh, I will just cut in the interesting parts. I don't expect there to be much of a problem. Uh, we are pretty well geared right now, so we don't really have to be afraid of garbage and cordon at the moment. We have a UNISG exosuit uh, without the skeleton, so unpowered. But it does provide us a lot of protection. We have a Sphere M12. We've got very good weaponry for basically the mid-game, which it is right now. And after we talk with Sidorovich, we will see what other mission he offers us. After which, I think I would like to go back north. Which means I will pass through army warehouses. I will collect all these stashes, maybe do these two missions. And then I'm actually thinking of not going through Red Forest. I'm still a bit scared of Sin there. But I may actually go clear the Mercs in that city and move through Limansk and uh, exit to Jupiter at the river. Although there are bandits in the container warehouse now that I think of it. But... Uh, you know what, I would rather take those bandits than uh, risk the sin in the Red Forest. But we will see how we do on time as well. Um, Limansk isn't that forgiving either. It does have monolith patrols, it does have mercs, and it has a lot of radiation. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes, but I would like to do way more missions in... Um, in the northern areas because we do need that expert toolkit and i again i would rather not go to the brain scorcher without uh, better weapons and better armor i would also like to get um, an exoskeleton preferably a unisg nosorog but uh, we'll see what happens and of course a repair kit for us for it because we also managed to get, not here, but here, an exo helmet and a mil spec power supply, which we could actually upgrade with the battery. We have a good stash of batteries, free batteries. So we could actually buy the recipe and uh, get, our, get our better power supply, which would be amazing. 
We also have a deer hunter, which I could fix, but unfortunately, we don't really have the bullets for it. We only have 12 Lapua round rounds, so uh, we'll have to wait for that. But right now, our main priority is uh, expert tools, and we'll see what happens next. So I'll uh, do a quick check of the missions around here, and then I will start moving towards Cordon, and uh, we'll see you at Sidorovich. All right, we've arrived in Rookie Village, and we will go straight to Sidorovich and see what the hell he wants from us. I'm gonna ask my guys to wait here because I don't want them to block me in the tunnel, and I'll always check this little um, window still there because there sometimes are pretty good things there. Okay, let's see. What do you want? The new rookies in camp are very green. Oh great, I gotta kill bandits west of the railway bridge. Uh, or I guess... I'm just gonna sell some of these this stuff, because... Uh, It's just uh, taking space. Okay. And uh, maybe buy some more FMJ. Perfect. I think I'll keep using HP rounds while I'm here, even though they take a few more shots per stalker. Um, they... Uh, I don't think I'll need them as much. Okay, so west of the bridge. Oh, right behind the mill. Okay, we can head straight there. Oh, the ecologist we saw walk out of the base got attacked by cats, but I can't tell where. Oh, there. Come on. 
Сдохнет это уже спида! We got two free cats and one free ecologist. He's a trainee, but uh, he does have some stuff on him. I think I'm most happy about those bullets. That was it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even sure it's worth going to loot him. It's not much, but it's something. Right, let's see what he wants now. Job is done. It pisses me off to no end that the screen darkens when you finish a job that has um, extra companions. Uh, it happens sometimes while you're actually fighting. And uh, it's, it's horrible. Okay, new mission. I gotta meet with Colonel Kuznetsov again. Uh, which is in Agroprom, so... Right, here we are in the military base in Agroprom. Mm, we, we looted it too recently, there's not really much to be found anymore. I'll still take a quick look around. Oh, we did find some meds, which is nice. Alright, and uh, let's just uh, go talk to the general. Have a drink of water in, on the way. Okay, what's the next mission, General? Are you serious? Uh, okay, so we have to go back to Cordon. But you know what? Since I'm here, I think I might actually do these free art artifacts and probably go through the Great Swamp and then go to Corden. So, um, yep, yeah, let's get on with it.
Без чего, сталкер? Okay, so you've probably seen bits of it, but uh, we actually gathered our anomalies. I had a couple back home at Rostock, so which I didn't know I picked up. I realized when I went to the anomalies and uh, the artifacts weren't there. So I actually swung through garbage really quick, went home, picked up the artifacts came back down through Cordon. Luckily, uh, the bandits on the way and mutants hadn't respawned back. Uh, we went and killed the bandits at the vehicle station, which was interesting because we also got attacked by a couple of fractures on the way, but uh, we didn't take any damage, so it's all good. After that, I went down through uh, the Great Swamp, uh, went to the church, this base was empty, went to the church, um, turned in the artifacts, and uh, our next uh, artifact mission will be in Yantar. So I might as well... actually, you know what, let's, let's do that later. I'll turn in the mission to the general right here. And uh, let's, let's go north, because that's, that's where the fun stuff is. All right, here we are. Job is done. And our next mission is to meet with Tukarev, where... Uh, I have no idea who that is. Um... Hello? Oh! Okay, so he's in Jupiter. Well, that's great, because that's exactly where we want to go. But you know what? I'll pass through Yantar. I'll actually take the next mission for the artifacts. If they're close, I might actually pick them up. Um, I do actually... I don't think I've told you about you guys about this, but... Um, where's Hip? Oh, Hip. I think she's below. Yeah. Uh, Hip actually has um, an SSP-99 diamond. Uh, stored up for me. I managed to upgrade it a little bit. So this should make it a little easier to uh, get some nice artifacts. Oh, we also... Really? Um, Is this better than the other one? Has better burn resist. And marginally better radiation resist. Um, yeah, you know what? She can keep that one too. <laughs> okay, here we are. Our guys are actually fighting off some dogs and cats that were running around. Uh, nothing to worry about. And our friendly scientist is actually in the middle of the lake. Hey. <laughs> right. So where are you going to send me to? These are all right around here. So we could do these really quick. One of them's exactly here. Um, so I'm actually going to... Which one has more chemical? Oh, they're... Both shit at chemical resistance. <laughs> Alright, we'll put this one on anyway. And, uh... We'll just take some chem resist meds. 4%. The antidote is better, right? 5%. I so rarely use a chemical resistance that I completely forget, uh... There we go, this is the one. 
I always forget which which drug is uh, better for it. Uh, yeah, detector should be good to have. Oh god, that's a lot of them. Gotta pull out a little bit so I heal. And the final one is... I think this should be the, uh, the actual anomalous sample. Yeah. Okay. Oh! Wow! That was close. Oh, I, I can deal with the cam, but gravity anomalies are, are now nothing to joke about. Um, also, I should pass and get some... Um, get some uh, uh, containers. So I'll be right back after we get our containers and fix our stuff. Alright, so... Hmm. What the hell are you guys fighting? Come back here. Oh, great. And we have an emission. I was gonna say we are finished with the artifact search. I'll actually turn this in really fast and then I'll head to the bunker. And apparently we finished another mission here? No idea what that's about, but uh, let's let's. Oh no, it's the anomaly. I need to stay sheltered. Uh, the ice storm. Uh, I I'm missing the word <laughs> emission. <laughs> All right, so we found a few interesting artifacts, and uh, we got the next mission. Which is uh, in wild, wild territory. And uh, you know what? I'm thinking we could actually go that way. Well, that was a little bit messy. But we pulled through. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get to that point of the run where I uh, start being a little overconfident and that's not really a good thing. You know what? I'll 
take this one just because uh, it might help in the future with uh, other anomalies if I get it fixed, of course. Okay, I'm not sure where that fracture is, but I'm starting to hear whispers, and I really don't like that. Plus, we also gotta look out for the mercs out, out in the back, uh, uh, in the, uh, the tower thing. Oh, that's an interesting stash. I think we need though, so... Okay, it's probably Carlix, but uh, you know what? I'll take one of these just in case. And we actually have some coffee to wash it down with. And an energy drink. Perfect. Damn it. Oh, I heard you. Where are you? Oh, there he is. You know what? I'm not even gonna... He's hiding behind there. Okay, we, we got him. Actually, we got two things in there. That's interesting. Okay. I use grenades just because I'm scared of more mercs over here. Oh, I hate this stairwell. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Just a small med, med kit.
All right, here we are back home. So I um, dropped everything off. I sold what I had to sell, turned in some missions. We ended up with a net gain of uh, about, I'm going to say 90,000 rubles because I did buy some ammo. I did buy some meds. So um, we're actually doing pretty good. Um, we added some more stuff to the stash. And uh, we should be ready to move north. Uh, our stuff is fixed. We are pretty well prepared. I think we are a bit low on ammo, but uh, you know what? Now we will clear the merc base on the way. So um, I hope that will even out the the difference. So. Uh, we're gonna. Oh. Not sure what our guys are fighting there. Ah, it's just zombies. Okay. So we will go through um, army warehouses again. And uh, we will move to Dead City. Where hope hopefully we'll have a nice, fun little firefight. Okay, let me get my guys. And uh, hopefully we get some nice loot. Got him. I can't tell where that guy's firing from. Oh, they're pretty serious. But he was in an exosuit. That did waste a lot of money, but uh, a lot of uh, ammo, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Let's take an anti-rad. And have a well-deserved cigarette. Okay, I think this is actually fixable, which is uh, just stupid. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make Hip carry the big, um, uh, the bigger stuff just because uh, she's very tanky and I'm pretty sure she won't die with them on her. All right, what else? There's a stash here. Sixty-five percent helmet. Um, I don't remember if the Scat Nine was better than this one. Hmm. I mean, kind of, but also not really. Um, you know what? Hip can carry it. <laughs> Hip's gonna be our designated armor girl from now on, I think.
Oh, companions pushing me. Stop. Oh, now they definitely all know I'm here. Okay, got that one. Смотреть в оба. I jumped for a second there. Okay, I'll just push them. Did my guys get them? There's one more there. Or two. Did we get him? Looks like we got him. All right. Don't care about that. We already have a good enough uh, 556 weapon, so I'm not even gonna bother looking at that G36. Um, we have a Remington at home, so uh, the parts will be useful. Okay, here we are, Dead City. Um, I'm gonna keep using FMJ, even though I might actually have to turn back home to get even more. Um, I didn't, I didn't expect the enemies to be so uh, chunky. There's one. I think my weapon was actually jammed. Okay. I don't really like engaging from this side. It's a bit uh, annoying. So I'm actually go gonna. Ooh, crap! Walked right into an anomaly field that I. I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna try and uh, come in from. Um, um, Basically near the building that's right across the road from the Merc base. Because that way I should be able to see uh, everyone nice and uh, good from a distance. I'm gonna check this area as well just because I don't want to have my back exposed to chimeras or controllers which generally tend to spawn in this area. Ah, it's just zombies. I think we're okay. Hmm. Uh, 
how do I do this? I'm gonna go left over there. Gonna clear the houses. Your cats over there. I think we'll be alright. Yeah, I'm gonna ask my guys to actually wait here. Okay, and we're gonna take this position here. And let's see what we can uh, get from this. Actually gonna switch to high AP. That Kree is a bit in the way. I'm not sure where they're actually shooting from. Wait, I got over. Not sure why it said I killed in cold, cold blood. I'm guessing I actually ended up hiding as a UNISG. Oh boy. The grenades started flying. That's a grenade. We can take some cover here in the building if we need to. Oh, that was HP. That's why they weren't dying. just wait here for a bit we're in no hurry they are shooting at me from a distance but i'm not sure where could it be the windows here i think they might be coming from the other side as well so Let's have a little look-see. Not sure if the guys from... Oh!
Well, if a grenade reach all the way here, it means... Hello. That one's down. And I'm not sure where they're shooting from, from that distance. Could be on top of the building on the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they, they see me as, as UNISG. I'm okay with it. Okay, I hear one to the right. Really? More grenades? Oh, it's on the other side now. Okay. Where are you coming from? I'm pretty sure there's going to be more. I want to avoid the, the guys on the right. And I also know that there's usually... Um... Oh! Okay. I think that was the guy. idea where they are okay you know guys start killing i can hear um exos on top oh that hurt I want to waste AP on this. That will be good. One's down. Everyone here seems to be down. Our guys are not fighting anymore. Oh, wait. Okay. I think that was pretty professional, huh? Okay, let's see how our stats dropped. <laughs> oh, we're good. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure how much uh, 556 ammo I had when I came in here. But hopefully I managed to uh, get back the costs.
там уже пидор! О! That's the mechanic. That was the mechanic. Well, the good thing, from what I understand, is if you manage to murder an entire an entire base, they should uh, not spawn as often. I didn't loot this one. Right. But yeah, I up until now I lost about 300 uh, full metal jacket rounds. But we didn't loot the guys that were around the building. Some good meds. What does the con Ooh. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't, um, unfortunately, I can't get the specter off of the gun. Where's the Seva? Hmm. Not that interesting, to be honest. Six K with attachments, not bad. AK one oh one. I don't think that even has any mods. Have you weapon kit? That's nice. Aslan didn't have anything on him. <laughs> Alright, we have another Spartan helmet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna open this up just because... You know what, just take everything. Alright. Can you carry anything more? There we go. Um, and give him the repair kits. Give him some of the meat. Okay. And there is one more dude uh, right here in front of administration. Uh, the guy who kept uh, shooting at me from a distance. Um, okay, so we're back to 400 uh, FMJ. I think that's good. We didn't actually lose anything uh, fighting the mercs. And... Uh, I'll just uh, head straight over to Limansk, I guess. We'll come back to army warehouses later uh, to loot all those green stashes. Oh, this went pretty well. 
And uh, if this went pretty well, I think we might even be able to take um, Yanov Station, which I am still a bit scared of. Okay, Limansk. One second, I just want to check. Oh, my reputation is still good. Alright, so we're probably going to have to fight some monolith on the way. But that's, that's alright, we'll get some 545 ammo out of it. I will uh, take an anti-rad though, just because I know Limanska is uh, crazy irradiated most of the time, and we can take a coffee pill just to get rid of the sleeping... Uh... Actually, keep on, keep on fighting. Right. There's two guys there. Okay, there might be more. Seems we're clear for now. Oh! Oh, god damn it, I jammed. Oh boy, that was scary. Always love 9x39 ammo. Okay. It's not very important for me right now, but uh, in the future, um, it will be my... the main ammo I use. Okay, so in this house there's usually a couple. I'll I'll just uh, bum rush them. Yeah, I actually hear an exosuit, which is uh, scary. We got him. Yeah, no time to loot yet. Sneaky bastard. I think there's one more there. I could hear footprints. Uh, uh, footsteps. Monolith in an exosuit. Airy stuff. Okay. Hmm. This is actually a bit more vicious than I expected. Okay. I definitely want this. Uh, sprint is the second upgrade, so we can actually uh, make it happen. Can get a bit more ballistic resistance down the line. Oh yes, definitely. And an exo helmet that I could fix right now, but uh, I don't think we need it. Uh, because we already have... Um, a Spartan helmet. Yep, can't carry anymore. Um, you know what? Just disassemble the scat. Yeah. Okay, I need something to heal my head. Alright, we're here and... Uh, I'm... Instantly expecting bandits.
it is one of their bases. After all. Oh! Okay, that was close. Oh. I was like, yeah, I'm expecting bandits. Next moment, bandit takes me by surprise. Okay, I am going to do one of these. Uh, just because I don't want to get over encumbered. I think my guys are full up on... Uh, their carry weight, so... God, so much radiation here. Need to get out of this place fast. Just making sure I have all my weapons ready. Gonna switch this to AP because uh, at this point, um, it's it's uh, not worth risking uh, longer kill times with FMJ. There's a lot of nasty mutants in those buildings, so I'm gonna go around as much as possible. Especially since I can't... Oh, there he is! I was wondering whether when a mutant will take me by surprise. It, it seems to happen a lot in the rain lately. <laughs> okay, so just as we did before, I'm gonna first check with the sniper rifle and uh, see if there's any mercs around there. Doesn't seem like it, so let's move and hope no one shoots at us. There could still be one inside. My guys can wait outside and I can actually actually yeah wait wait outside oh it's it's the weird scientist dance okay free meds that's really awesome um, and I'm pretty sure these guys also repair and and um, sell stuff so you there nope not that okay uh oh we actually have to talk with him as well um okay underground passage in Pripyat you know what that will be a mission that will be done when um, when we actually go with Rogue. So, only after the Brain Scorcher. But until then, I think we're not doing bad.
Yeah, we're gonna do those later. Um, Okay, so let's see, how do we go about this? First of all, I noticed... Okay, now I'm definitely part of duty. I ended up killing a couple of guys and uh, my reputation kept getting worse and worse. So I decided I'll just tear off my patch and try it like that, and it seems like it's working much better. Yeah, we gotta pull out from here. Oh! That one's down. That's more like it. Crap. I'm gonna pull back a bit because I can't see anything because of that uh, stupid bush yeah that bush <laughs> but here I think I'm protected by these trees pretty well Oh yeah, throw the grenade. <laughs> that was very lucky because he was in a uh, in his grenade throwing animation. Oh, grenade. You can play that game. <laughs> okay. We got the uh, Loki, which I think was a salesman or something. Another one there. Just gonna be patient and stay around the corner of this building. Yeah, see? I'm pretty sure that killed someone, or at least hurt them pretty well. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, I think the AI knows when you're healing because they, they tend to charge like crazy when you do anything medical. I'm kind of stuck behind this building. Okay, I know there's one guy hurt here. Okay, I don't think it's time for looting yet. I want to do a quick sweep of the base before we do anything. Yeah, we heard something in there. Okay, that's the medic. Nothing in here. You're friendly. <laughs> yeah, we were gonna have to clear this one way or another because uh, we were going to have missions here uh, later on. Um, So we're gonna periodically have to uh, come back here and Привет, clear out the respawns and such. Okay, we can call our guys back. And uh, yeah, I think that's really good. We managed to clear Yanov Station. And we only almost died twice. Ah, <laughs> oh, I was actually hoping he would give me a uh, an exosuit. USB match, one v five, and for a one tactical, that's actually not a bad gun. And finally, another Spartan helmet, AK five C. Uh, I mean, we honestly we have the butcher. There's, I don't think there's a better five five six weapon out there. And loot all of this. And where's the stash? We go. A few meds. It's good. This was Loki. <laughs> Find it funny that Loki was killed by a grenade. There's still someone out there. I think the mechanic... Um, not the mechanic, but some... Oh, um, I think there's a guy who locks himself in a room. Maybe? No? Oh, good. Because Loki would give you missions here. I have no idea. The important thing is we managed to clear it out. We can actually move down here. There's a stash so we can uh, drop some of our stuff. 
And we can start doing missions, finally. Oh, there's actually a dutier there. Um, he might be willing to join us. Because now our reputation is great. We're a veteran. So we can uh, actually recruit... Uh, I always forget what the um, ranks are. But it's somewhere here in the guides. There we go. So veteran, we can actually recruit experts and masters just because we are uh, maximum relations with uh, duty. We cleared the Anof station. Let's actually take a look at the missions we have around here. I think that's actually a freedom trader and that's the one running around, but I'm not sure. Okay, so deliver package to Great Swamps. No, these are from the ecologists. Um, and no. Clear monolith and outskirts. Sure. Work in Red Forest. It's gonna be at the tower, I think. We'll take it. I'm not sure if we'll do it. As for the rest, I'll take the mechanics missions uh, just because um, we will definitely go back to Rostock and bring uh, bring some stuff over here. Uh, I'm actually considering making a base here. Or if not here, at least in in um, in the ship uh, in uh, Zaton. I always mistake the two of them. Sorry. Oh, I was actually checking how many military faction patches I have, and I have too few. I do have Chimera meat, though. I'll take this. Maybe I'll find one. Okay. There's a few mutants to kill. But, uh, yeah. We'll keep that for next time. So, we actually managed to achieve quite a lot in this run. Uh, we did a lot of the missions for duty. Uh Let's actually do a quick recap. So we started off in Rostock. Uh, we had to go all the way down to Sidorovich. Uh, and then he sent us to the military guy in the research institute. Which sent us back to Corden to assassinate some random guy. Sorry, hit my mic there. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, I also grabbed the... Um, uh, artifact missions, so I did those as well, and went through the swamp to turn those in, uh, assassinated the guy, came back to the general, uh, went through Yantar to do the other artifact missions, which I did, uh, we just need to go back and turn them in, went through wild territory, got three green stashes, a few missions, killed some mercs, Went back to Rostock, dropped off uh, gear and uh, sur surplus stuff. Went through army warehouses. No. N yes. Went through army warehouses. Um, then straight through Dead City. We cleared out the mercenary base. Went through Limansk <laughs> to avoid the Red Forest. Uh, killed a few monoliths. Uh, ended up back into Jupiter, where we killed some bandits over here, and we finally managed to clear out Yanov Station, which is uh, not an easy thing to do. We had some pretty good fights, we had some really close calls, and now that we're up north, I'm actually thinking of setting up a stash right here. Um, and uh, basically making a secondary base. Uh, I'll try and see if I can fix um, some of the stuff we got. I'm especially interested in fixing the 
Spartan helmet. We also got a monolith exoskeleton, but we have no way of repairing it yet. So that's going to have to wait, but it's good to have it. And um, what else? Just a lot of things that we have to sell, honestly. Yeah. But all in all, uh, we did really good. We had some really good fights. Uh, for you, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, uh, leave a comment uh, if you have any suggestions of uh, what you'd like me to do next. Um, I will uh, consider them. <laughs> and if they're not too risky, I'll uh, see what I can do. So, I'll see you guys next time.